Hey guys, my name is Ruben from Made Creative, and today we're going to be looking at how to play our song, Fill This Place. Again, we're going to be breaking this down into the chords and the strumming pattern. We're in the key of F sharp today, so make sure you begin with putting the capo on fret 2. For the song's intro, we have two chords. We have this E shape, and then we'll be lifting off our second finger for the second chord shape. The intro can be divided into two parts for the strumming patterns. The first part, which is eight bars long, can also be divided as well into two four bar sections. The first four bars, we play it with only just a couple of strings. For the next four bars, we start adding more strings. and then we reach the second part of the intro. The second part of the intro, the strumming pattern goes like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So the whole intro all together should sound like this. More strings. Second part. So the verse is very similar to the introduction. However, we're going to be playing it kind of half time in a way. So have a look at this. And then we change the chord here. And then back to the E chord. So the chorus has four chords. It has the C-sharp minor shape, a B, an E, and an A-sus2. The strumming pattern for this chorus is simple. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And with the chords, this sounds like this. The ending of the chorus is different to the rest of the chorus. However, when we do it each chorus, we'll be adding it on again. So this means for the first chorus we do it once, the second chorus we do it twice, and the third chorus we do it three times. The chords are the C sharp minor shape, the B, the A sus2, and the strumming pattern is very simple. It's just down, down, up, down, like this. The bridge uses the same chords as in the chorus. So the C sharp minor shape, the B, the A sus2, and the E. And it also uses the same strumming pattern. So it will sound like this. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down. The outro of the song begins the same as the intro. We start with the E-shaped chord, and only a few strings. And we start adding more strings. And when it comes to the second part of the outro, we stay on the downstrokes. You may notice that we also do accents on some parts of the strumming. Experiment with this yourself. Here's what we do at Made Creative. Hey 
Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and also please leave a like and comment to see what you guys would like to see more in the future.